I want to talk to you today about having a never say die attitude. If you're going to fulfill your destiny, you have to have a made up mind that no matter what comes against you, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many times you get knocked down, you are not going to stay down. You're not going to start complaining. You're not going to get soured on life and give up on your dreams. You're going to keep pressing forward looking for your next victory. There's got to be a holy determination, a never say die attitude. The people that succeed are not necessarily the most talented. They are the most determined. They know how to persevere. When they fail, they don't see that as final. They learn from it and try again. When they face obstacles, they don't shrink back and get discouraged. They dig their heels in and fight the good fight of faith. And in life, there's always something coming against us. Disappointments, setbacks, unfair situations. And too many people just give up and think, well, it just wasn't meant to be. My marriage is not going to last. We're having too many problems. I'll never accomplish my dreams. The economy's too bad. I'll never get well, Joel. The doctor's report doesn't look good. No, if you're going to experience God's best, you have to have a backbone made of steel. You can't be weak, wimpy, spineless. You have to have a warrior mentality. No matter how long it's taken, deep down on the inside, your attitude should be, if I have to stand in faith my whole lifetime, I am not going to give up on what God has put in my heart. And when you have this holy determination, when you have your mind made up that you're going to outlast anything that comes against you, then no person, no obstacle, no sickness, no setback, no betrayal, all the forces of darkness cannot keep you from your God-given destiny. God did not create us to give up when it gets hard. He didn't create us to get discouraged when we face obstacles. He made us as more than conquerors. You have victory in your DNA. When God breathed His life into you, He breathed perseverance, determination, strength, courage, endurance. You have staying power. That means you can outlast every attack. You've been anointed to make it through difficult times. If you will dig your heels in and have this never say die attitude, then no matter what comes against you, no matter how long it takes or how difficult it is, when it's all said and done, you'll be able to say, I'm still standing. The enemy did his best, but his best was not enough. I've still got a smile on my face, a song in my heart, a spring in my step. I know I am a victor and not a victim. Through all the things I've gone through in my life, I had a lot of, a lot of downs. How did I keep the faith? There was a couple of reasons. Number one, I know from living that if you quit whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you quit whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. If you quit, there is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed failure. Now, when you're trying, you're going to fail. But quitting, just stopping, that was the number one thing I understood. And then number two, you have to make sure that your dreams, your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. If you want to be extraordinary and not ordinary, if you want to be ordinary, live your life. But if you want to be extraordinary, you have to be extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, that word is extraordinary. It requires an extra effort.
It's an urge. Every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge to quit. Don't you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it, don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but don't you quit. I want to encourage you today. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't you quit on you. Don't allow yourself to fall into this trap of believing that you are what you're going through. I know those obstacles and challenges, the thing that you're up against may feel at times like it's breaking you, but what if it's shaping you? And with the right perseverance, with a little bit of hope and a whole lot of perseverance, you can finally receive the help you need to experience a breakthrough, but not if you quit, not if you quit, not if you quit on you. These challenges and giants and obstacles may sometimes make you question your worth and your value. And sometimes your life, but listen to me closely. Don't you make a permanent decision for a temporary problem. Don't you quit. Don't you quit. Don't you quit on you. Your value, your worth, your significance, your life is not tied to your history. But it was predetermined to align you to your destiny. But you'll never truly turn your obstacle into opportunity, your barrenness into breakthrough, your problem into purpose if you quit on you there's got to be a relentless that says no matter what happens I refuse to quit as long as God has given me breath to breathe I'm gonna keep pressing forward pursuing my dreams believing for his very best well you say Joel I don't understand why this has happened to me why did I get cancer why did I get laid off why was I raised in a negative environment I don't know why but I do know this nothing that has happened to you can keep you from your God-given destiny you might have had an unfair past, but you don't have to have an unfair future. You can take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. It may not make sense, you may not understand it, but God would not have allowed it unless he had a divine purpose. And if you will shake off the self-pity, shake off the discouragement, then God will not only bring you out, but he's promised he will bring you out better off than you were before. Our attitude should be, this thing is not going to defeat me. It may have knocked me down, but it didn't knock me out. I'm going to get back up and go again. Keep pushing. Don't stop. You're almost to your goal. Your dreams are closer than you think. Most people give up when they're right there at their blessing. You only have one move left before the floodgates are open and the new you will take over. Your new job, that new car, your new home, something you've been waiting for for years. Now is not the time to give up. Never give up. Keep fighting until there's no breath left in your body. I don't know who's been telling you that you can't reach it. 
I don't know who's been telling you not to go forward, but today I'm telling you, don't give up. Keep fighting. Look in the mirror and say, I can make it. I will make it. Nothing will stop me. I'll never give up. Some days aren't easy. Some days you're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight. You're gonna have to fight just to make it. You're gonna seem like you can't take anymore. But that's just when you get that strength. That little power that you need. That sense of hope that you've been holding on to this whole time. It's gonna get you over. Because one day, if you keep believing, you will reach that dream.